also commend you. Alright. <laughs> So, the other one, okay, so I, I told you not to pay any attention to this one yet. So now I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, so because we're working with a server control with content pane, content pane is running the server, so if I just put content pane as the ID in there, that's not going to work, right? So, instead, because ASP.NET, and we were talking a little about this earlier, ASP.NET at runtime decides what the ID is going to be on the server, on a server control, on one that has a running server. In it. So even though in the skin the ID here is content pane, ASP.NET <coughs> changes it and it's actually DNN content pane. Now this could be something else, right? So so just because it, this one's DNN underscore content pane, especially with containers, it names it whatever it wants. Okay, so you don't want to count on that. What you want to do instead is you put that little bit of server side script there. That's content pane. The content pane is what these the ID is on the server side. Dot client. And so what that does, if we look back at the source, then we can see that it actually grabs it and renders that into HTML right on the page. So then that's rendered before the JavaScript gets it. The JavaScript gets it, copies it up, or moves it into DOM so that the parent ID is, is, the, is the one we pass in here. So does that make sense? Pretty cool, huh? Oh. Okay, so that's actually my turn. And I have two minutes left. So if you guys would like to ask any questions, is there anything I can cover for you? The, uh, the loops, yeah, uh, is that? Is that yours or is that no, that, that's that's built in another new file. So yeah, yeah. 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 I, I love the thing, right? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I told Nick it was a good idea when he told me about it. Yeah, that counts, right? It totally counts. Oh, other questions? Yeah. You know, you ought to send the, your vote next to right? all your clients. Just kind of let them know. That's a good idea. Yeah, you know what? For you, Scott, I'll give you a sign. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Free with a hundred hours It's actually a check-in bug. They're working on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, um, to answer your question, though, I, I'll actually create them from scratch. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd actually rather control the way my site map looks. So, I'll, I'll give you an example of a, of a site that we have. Um, and and this, is, uh, this, is a, this is a little SEO campaign that we did. Not really happy with results. Um, <clears throat> here we go. So, if I go to... This one, um, we have this our site, and our site, we built it so that it would look the way we wanted to. And you know, I, I, I know that I know that there's no extra HTML in this. I know that it's UL and LI the way I want it to be. You know, there are pages that I wouldn't want to be included in there. So I, 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 I think if you got a site that's not changing that much, you know, just just make yourself a site. site. In addition to that. Though, in addition to that, I, I do I do supply my sitemap using the the, the built-in you know sitemap that I SPX that that's part of the 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 group or the the tools that are part of that. So you can go in and say this is my sitemap and it gives you all the pages. And this may just be another thing that we were having issues with. We wanted to create a sitemap. Yeah, yeah, 
and it, it basically the, the way that it works is you can only have like, you don't have one sitemap provider, so you can say I, I use the Google sitemap, and then they deliver the Google sitemap format. So you know, it's it, it you know it's free. <laughs> so so you you gotta take it. You, you, you take what you can get. Um, but in order to do what, what you're asking for, uh, I don't know of a third party model. Doesn't mean there's not a third party model. Does it? I don't know of one off the top of my head that does it. Uh, if you wanted to do that, you could you know either create that XML by scratch, um, or I, I know a consultant that could probably make that off for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? And does he have a free book? <laughs> Or you get free books with a hundred dollar consulting? Yeah. No, no, hundred hours of consulting. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for coming today. It was a lot of fun. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.